it's my turn. I just nearly made myself go deaf. I said that so loud. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I have another haul for you guys. I know I've been very, very naughty, but don't worry, I saved up for this stuff so it's all good. Um, first things first, I actually, some of you might have already have seen this stuff because over on my Insta stories um, today, I actually bought this stuff today, so I'm filming it the day that I bought it, and on my Insta stories while I was shopping today, I actually did a come shopping with me on my Insta stories for a change, so it was the first time I think I've done that with you, and I absolutely loved it, and so far you guys have said that you really enjoyed it. It was a little bit different to vlogging it and then putting it on YouTube because obviously you're then seeing me go shopping a week after I've actually been shopping, which is fine because those videos are super fun and you guys loved my last Come Shopping With Me video. I'll link that now if you haven't seen that already. But I think the fun thing about doing it on Insta Stories was it was live and you guys were sort of literally coming shopping with me because you could go on my Insta Stories as I was in the dressing room, tell me what you thought of what I was trying on, I did loads of polls, you guys could vote for what you liked and disliked, um, so it was super interactive and I think that's what I enjoyed most about it and I think that's what you guys liked about it, so I got really good th feedback about that, so thanks to all the people that voted because it means a lot that you um, really enjoyed what I was doing. So I think I'll be doing that a lot more often. So when I go shopping, sometimes I'll vlog it and put it on YouTube. And sometimes I'll do like a live come, sh come shopping with me and do it on my Instagram story. So just a little food for thought there. Let me know what you think in the comments because I really, really enjoyed it. And if you don't already follow me in on Instagram, then definitely do because I'm going to be doing this a lot more often. Um, so my Instagram is rayofstyle underscore. I have a hair in my mouth ray of style underscore so do go follow me because obviously i post those pictures on there and i do interactive stories like that now okay so on to what i bought i've gone from three different high street stores today so the first one is ooh, it's falling over urban outfitters zara and h&m and as you can see they are quite big bags i didn't buy too much but they're like more bulkier things. So let's get started with what I bought. So first up, I'll start with what I got in Urban Outfitters. And the first thing I picked up, and I will be doing cutaways for this video, guys, because I know you do prefer it when you can see me in the items, which I completely understand. Um, the first thing I picked up was this gorgeous, which way around is it? This way. This gorgeous, oh, I love the colour of this so much. This gorgeous terracotta cardigan. Now, the thing I love about this, I actually got this in a medium, so that it's a little bit oversized, but it's quite long. I'd say it goes down to just above my knees. And the thing I love about most, the, lo the thing I love most about it, I should say, is it's got this balloon sleeve detail. Now, you guys do know that I love this because I have my sort of um, undone jumper is the same as this so the sleeves are tapered in around the wrist and then this material sort of balloons out and it's this gorgeous like rusty orangey red colour I'd say like a true terracotta colour and it does have pockets on the front as well and like I said I got this in a medium because I just wanted it a little bit oversized um, I wanted it to be quite cosy but it's still like thin enough that I can wear this in the spring and my kind of plan is with this is one it's going to be great for the winter two I can wear it under coats in the winter but over the spring and summer if it's like a day like today where it's not particularly sunny but it's not particularly cold either then I would wear this as my jacket coat kind of thing um just when you need something over your shoulders but nothing too heavy so this was 46 pounds and it's this gorgeous cable knit cardigan and i absolutely love it okay so this is the urban outfitters cardigan i absolutely love this like i said i got this in a medium too because i just wanted it to be a little bit chunkier and oversized so it goes down to about halfway through my thighs and it has pockets on the front i absolutely love the way it drapes down and i love these sleeves because they're tapered around the wrist so they don't fall onto your hand but they are like they balloon there's like lots of material there so it looks really really cool um, and i just love the vibe of this outfit it adds a really really nice bright color but it's like not too much and this is gonna be so good in autumn but fantastic for spring because i would obviously wear this as a spring summer outfit 
but with the cardigan over the top I'm not going to need to wear a jacket so it'll keep like any breeze off my shoulders or anything this is going to be great in the evenings especially on holiday you know when the evenings get a little bit cooler and I can just throw this on um go to the beach like use it to cover up on the beach and stuff it's going to be so so versatile the second thing I got from Urban Outfits is actually a little bit different for me, but I've been wanting one of these for so long. So I kind of cottoned on to like the Alice headband trend. Um, it's something that I really, really like, but I have been looking for like the perfect one. Um, and I came across this one in Urban Outfitters and it's got this gorgeous like hessian material. Uh, that's what I would call it. It's like a hessian sack. Um, material and then it has like the band underneath and it's got this cute little knot on top too it's got this also got the tag still on it but well never mind um so what I was thinking was when my hair's down and I'm gonna wear it like quite near the front so that it also it kind of looks like I've tied it so this looks I really like the way that this looks it might be a bit of a mama item not everybody's gonna like this um but I just thought it was really really nice and it actually goes with the jeans that I'm wearing today and you guys would have seen this in the insta stories come shopping with me because I actually had my hair curly this morning but I've showered in between uh coming home and filming this so I've got my hair straight now because I thought I haven't straightened my hair in ages and it's got really really long um so yeah, it looks really good with straight hair, but it also looked really good with curly hair this morning. And I also put my hair up in a bun because I was getting so hot in the changing rooms. And it looked great in a bun. So I think this is going to be really great for those days where you kind of want your hair down. But it's driving you mad that it's in the way all the time. And uh, obviously you can wear it a bit further back. And also if I want to like get rid of my parting and then sort of slide it on. It looks really nice like that too um so yeah it just keeps my hair out of the way a little bit and i just thought it looked quite cool i actually saw the ones in zara which are like um they have the elasticated bottom and they go all the way around your head but they're pre-tied and i was going to get one of those but then none of them all of them had red in and red against my hair just doesn't work um so i ended up not getting any of them and there was a plain black one but i wanted at least a lighter color so when i saw this in urban outfitters i bought it because i thought it was really really nice so yeah so it's just gonna keep my hair back it's gonna be great for holiday when you, you know when you want your hair down on holiday but like it's sticking to your forehead because you're sweating this is gonna be great for that and this was 12 pounds Okay, on to what I got in Zara now, and I have been looking for a boiler suit for so long. You guys probably know this because I think they, they, they're they actually on my mood board right now, but I think they featured quite a few times on my mood board because I absolutely love boiler suits and jumpsuits of any kind. But the difference between a jumpsuit and a boiler suit is a boiler suit is quite tapered in on the waist and like sort of a little bit more oversized in the other areas and it also looks a bit more like work wear um, but obviously in a chic way uh, so I picked this one up from Zara I actually saw this on the Zara website and fell in love with it now it's not all done up properly here so let me just quickly do the buttons up and this little tie but obviously this is going to look way better on than it is off the hanger or off me because um that's kind of just the way they go but yeah so I bought this really dark forest green jumpsuit so it has these sort of um not sh completely short sleeves they actually come down to about here maybe so just a little bit longer than a short sleeve and they have this like ruching up the side which I thought was really nice and then they've got a bit of a collar but it comes with this buckle around the collar which I'm gonna try and style because Sometimes it looked a bit odd, but I actually, by the end of my stint in the changing room, I actually managed to make it look quite good. And then actually between, so where that tag is, is actually a very small gap, which <laughs> actually showed my necklace really, really nicely. And then it buttoned down, it buttons down, um, but the buttons are like on the behind of the material, so they don't show. And then it has an elasticated waist, which is covered by another D-ring belt once tied properly. And it also has pockets. And then I would say that the trousers are almost like a mum jean fit because they're quite baggy around the top and then they taper down to a folded bottom. So that's kind of it. I know it's super hard to see it off me um, and off a hanger. Oh, now I've like lost the top. Here we go. 
but yeah so on it looks really really cool it's going to look fantastic it actually looks fantastic with my Louis Vuitton boots which is what I was wearing today it's going to look so amazing with my Stella McCartney platform brogues I'm so excited to put that on with it and it's also going to look really really casual and great with my Nike Air Force ones and I'm also tempted to try it with my H&M uh, Kitten Hill boots because I actually think that might look really really cool what else? It's going to look fantastic with sandals. I mean, it is like an outfit all in one. I'm so excited. All I have to think about is the shoes, basically, and jewellery and the handbag. But those are the same every day, pretty much. So I'm really excited because nearly all of my shoes are going to go with this. So really, really happy about that. And it's this lovely, like, cotton shirt material. So it's actually quite light and airy. Um, so I thought even though it's like a full body thing i think it will be quite good um on holiday for if, it, if there's any cooler days and it's obviously going to be great for spring and summer here because my mango jacket is going to go so well over this if you guys have seen my mango jacket in my haul it also featured on the blog uh yesterday that will be about maybe two weeks ago now um but my what i miss most about london blog post featured my mango jacket so go check that out if you haven't already because that jacket's going to look incredible with this and i can't wait to wear that oh and just quickly this was 49.99 which i know is like 50 pounds for one item but you're kind of getting a whole outfit for 50 quid so i didn't think it was that bad Okay guys, and this is the boiler suit. I absolutely love this now that I've styled it up properly. Um, so it has this like D-ring uh, belt that goes around, that goes over the elastic, um, but it's all one obviously. But it just cinches in the waist and then it's got the same around the neck and then it has this little gap which I think looks nice with my necklace showing through. So it does like a D-ring at the top as well. And then I love the length of the sleeves and obviously it goes all the way down to my ankles. And this boiler suit looks really, really fantastic with my Stella McCartney platforms and my Louis Vuitton boots. It's going to look great with sandals. It's going to look great with my Nike Air Force One trainers. It will look really good with Stan Smiths if you if you wear Stan Smiths and it does have um pockets in the side as well which is always helpful and good for posing <laughs> and I've just paired it with um the headband again because I just like the way that this headband works with everything um so yeah so I really really love this and I don't think I said in the um sit down portion but I got this in an extra small and it fits me perfectly so I'm normally a size eight and yeah I got this in an extra small and I'm five foot four and it just touches my ankles so it's something to keep in mind if you want to pick this one up so yeah really really happy with this and the thing I love most about this is it's literally just like you put it on and you've got a whole outfit all you have to do is think about a bag which my Celine bag is going to go amazing with this a jacket I'm going to put my mango jacket on with it and shoes I'm going to put my Louis Vuitton boots on with it so I already know exactly what I'm going to wear I just thought because I keep mentioning my mango jacket that I would put it on with that, this outfit so you can see but this is my mango jacket just in case you didn't see it in my haul or on my blog so do go check that video and my blog post out if you haven't seen this yet but yeah this is from mango and I'm absolutely obsessed with this jacket and of course it's like very similar vibes to the boiler suit so this looks really really cool and I'm super happy with this outfit and it matches the headband as well Okay, that's all I got from Zara. So on to H&M. I saw these trousers on, I cannot remember her name. Let me just look it up quickly. Hang on. Grace Sagai, I think that's how you say her name, on Instagram. And she was wearing these H&M trousers. Now, funnily enough, they look quite like the vintage jeans that I'm wearing today. I'm not going to stand up because they're actually unbuttoned at the moment because I just ate lunch. Um, but they're very similar but the difference is these are wide leg at the bottom so that's why I ended up going for them but they're quite a similar material that's sort of like a linen denim material like this really cool hybrid and they've got the pleating at the top which reminded me as well but obviously they don't have a button or anything they have a hidden fly so it makes it a little bit smarter and less casual they have pockets on the sides and pockets on the back and then like I said they go down into a wide leg which I really really like and was pretty much the selling point because you guys know I love a wide leg and these are full length not cropped so it, like these are so Rachel I mean 
if I was to design, design a pair of trousers myself, this would probably be them. So I was super happy when I found them. Now Grace on Instagram also has the matching blazer, but I ended up not getting that one because I got a different one instead. But you can get a matching blazer with this, which would look fantastic with like a white t-shirt underneath. Um, and these trousers were $49.99, but like I said, they um, are that really, really good uh, sort of sturdy material. And the fly on them has two clasps at the front, um, sorry, two clasps at the top, a button, and obviously a zip as well. So nice and sturdy, and they're going to stay up. Okay guys, so these are the beige trousers from H&M. They have these pockets on the side. I absolutely love how high-waisted they are, and like they really cinch in the waist, which is really, really nice. Um, and they have pockets on the back too and I love the material it just falls really nicely and it just feels really really comfortable I love the pleating at the top I know this isn't like the best setup because normally I film in the living room but it's a bit of a mess right now um, so I'll just quickly stand on here but you can see like they do go all the way down um, to my ankles so they are full full length and they're wide at the bottom which I really really like as well um, so yeah, this is going to look so good with my new mango jacket over the top. I'm really excited to wear this outfit. And I think this looks great with just such a simple uh, vest top on or a white shirt, like a, a white shirt with buttons or a white t-shirt. My blush pink t-shirt would look great with this. A black t-shirt, anything really. Um, this is going to be super versatile and great for evenings and casual days out too. Okay, and last but not least, the second thing I bought from H&M is a blazer. Now, I've been wanting a blazer for so long. I think I must have talked to you about this because I have wanted a blazer for a really, really long time. And I quite often see ones I like and then I try them on and I think, actually, no, I don't think this is going to suit me. I don't think I'm going to wear it that much. But since I've been buying... Um, because I know places look really fantastic with jeans and a white t-shirt and that's what I was thinking of doing it with. But since I've been buying like these um, sort of beigey, taupey trousers, I've got those teal trousers from Mango now, I've sort of like thought about getting a blazer again because they blazers will go fantastic with those colours. So... I went into H&M and I know I could have got the matching one to go with these trousers but I wanted to get something a little bit different and something that would go with more than just one item. So I ended up getting this black and white checked uh, blazer. Now obviously it's black and white so it's still going to go with lots of things and it's just like a, if I hold it a little bit closer you can see. It's just a black and white. I think this is called like a Prince of Charles check. But don't quote me on that. Um, so it's just a really simple blazer. It's got a, like, a single lapel. It's double breasted, two buttons, um, it has a flap over the pockets and then it has little buttons on the sleeves. Now I just thought this was kind of exactly what I was looking for and this was £39.99 and I actually got this in a size 10 because the 8 fitted me perfectly. That's kind of why I ended up not getting the 8 because I wanted something that was ever so slightly oversized, not going to swamp me and look like I was wearing like my dad's blades or something but ever so slightly oversized that so the sleeves were slightly longer the body was slightly longer so that I could wear this with um my black Topshop vinyl skirt underneath that featured in an outfits of the week video because I want to wear that overneath oh I'm sorry underneath and then this over the top done up um, I've kind of got that idea in my head, whether it will look how I want it to or not, I'm not sure. But I've kind of got that idea in my head. But of course, this is going to go fantastic with the beige trousers, with the white top. Um, it would also go quite nice over the boiler suit, but I don't know because it might be a little bit too structured. Um, but yeah, so it's going to go with like a lot of things that I wear. Obviously a white t-shirt and jeans is going to look fantastic. The uh, vintage jeans that I'm wearing right now with this top is actually what I tried it on with in the fitting room and I loved it. So yeah, a nice staple piece for my wardrobe. Um, and it's like a cheap investment because I don't think 40 quid is actually that bad for this. And it's probably going to be in my wardrobe for a very long time because this is one of the things that you kind of keep forever um so yeah so that was a little bit of an investment buy but yeah okay guys so this is the blazer on um yeah i really really like it it's nice and boxy it's not too tailored because i didn't want one that like came in too much i wanted like a boxy one and um, that was just a little bit more casual and like i said it's going to be really easy to pair with stuff i got this in a size 10 because i just wanted the sleeves to be that much longer and for the body to be that much longer too. But yeah, I think it's going to be nice and easy to style. And I'm excited for styling it because I've not really styled a blazer before. So 
should be quite interesting okay guys that's it for this haul thank you so much for watching and don't forget to go follow me on instagram if you want to see more come shopping with me insta stories don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already because i post a video every monday at 6 p.m and a blog post goes up on rayofstyle.co.uk every friday at 6 p.m so do go follow me on both of those and i will see you in the next video guys thanks so much for watching bye